this is Vince from Sniper Day Trading and this was the start of today's session right here 630 and there was a gap uh, opening lower on on the open and maybe I'll show you that in a time chart later but this was the start of the session right here um, just kind of pointed out where the turning points would be um, where I would likely take a trade um, I'm certainly probably not going to be taking all of these trades really only need uh, one or two maybe three uh, little trades here to uh, to make for a nice day so um, under certain conditions when you see a pull up into this neutral area and then a move back down uh, prices um, well actually that can be a continuation trade short uh, you'll see a few of those as I go along but uh, there's a little continuation short uh, long up here pre-market there's a little spot right here that I would likely take short in a pre-market but the first trade short uh, if I was trading this, you've got uh, these bars right in here. I'd be trying to get filled right here. And that's the first trade. That's actually good for a couple points um, before it reverses. Uh, probably wouldn't take anything in here. Um, might take that, and I might have gotten stopped out, but I probably would re-enter right over here uh, just, just a touch after 7 o'clock. Uh, going forward, you can see the next trade short right there about 7.20. Um, likely grab a price right in between these bars right in here and if I miss that uh, likely take that next spot there around 730 short right in those bars where it's bouncing around in there uh, those are pretty pretty easy fills um, give or take a tick in there um, market moves down getting closer to eight o'clock it's possible I could take a trade long right here um, may not take a full stop but uh, may reverse right here um, this would be somewhat of a counter trend rally although you notice too all of these the indicators actually line up with where I would take a trade but I uh, put all of those marks up according to the method and not according to the indicator but again as I've said before um, the indicator follows or is a reflection of the method and it shows up in these in this uh, indicator that I have here so again this is a continuation short right here another continuation short right there uh, it's another continuation short again this is b not because of this but because of other factors and um, probably no trade in that next little group of uh, moves but right in this little section right there everything lines up um, you also the indicator lines up too uh, really pretty amazing uh, you really have to just stay focused and alert and know how to trade this method in order to hit those timing points. Although my timing has been off a little bit in the last few days, and that's you know that's just my inability to to make it happen the way it's supposed to. But I've still been able to capture the points I need for a daily goal, and haven't taken too big of a drawdown. So these are just long trades in here. Again, a point is not very much if you're targeting a point, point and a half one two three four so right up here there's a point a point short there's a point there's a point and really all of these um, and a point is pretty much a minimum target uh, we should really sh try to shoot for but sometimes the market doesn't easily give you give it to you so three ticks uh, is fine as long as your um, risk reward is not out of kilter so you're not going to want to risk two points really to capture three ticks that's definitely a no-no but um, anyway 10 o'clock during the slower time uh, this was a pretty good little spot um, I could also see a trade here um, I like this spot actually a little better um, another long in here um, so you know if I had held this open I might get stopped out if I was trying to shoot for more like a move up into here uh, but if I scale out and take some then it could easily be a break-even uh, trade and then there's new opportunities here new opportunities short here after the uh, long New York lunch hour another short opportunity there and get closer to actually a couple trades I did take you could see that just before 12 o'clock that was okay it's not the greatest little spot there but the move at 1215 that was actually okay I like that and those were the few trades that I did take again timing was a little bit on the off side um, the long I liked much better over here came in a little early and this short I was just actually trying to scalp a few ticks but uh, anyway that's the day thanks for tuning in